let's just look at how our string vibrates when we have a finger down on the string. So if I were going to put my finger down up here, um, you can see when I move my bow, I'm trying to get all my other fingers out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Please don't play your violin with this posture. <laughs> um, if I bow that note, and you look at my vibrating string, you'll see that only part of my string is vibrating, the part between my fingertip and the bridge. But back here, there's no vibration happening. Okay, now, if I take that same note, and instead of depressing the string all the way to the fingerboard, if I just tickle. So now, normally when I play this note, I play it with my pinky, and I play with a flat pinky just tickling like a feather, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing here. So, again, getting my fingers out of the way, watch what happens now on that vibrating string. You can see that there's vibration happening here, but there's also vibration happening behind my finger. And that's what gives harmonics their special ringing, some people say kind of a spooky sound. So that is essential to the sound of a harmonic. If we don't have vibration happening behind the finger and above the finger, then it just doesn't sound the same. So now let's talk about how to find your harmonic. From the same point of view, what we can do is we can slide the hand up until it runs into the body of the violin. Now you'll see this from another angle, um, so you can see what's actually happening with the shape of my hand, but nothing is changing. I'm just gonna slide my hand up until I run into the shoulder of my violin. You can see that my thumb and my hand is moving together, and as I reach up, I'm not doing anything crazy with my wrist. I'm just sliding up, and then what's gonna happen is I'm just, I'm doing this on the G string. So I'm gonna reach across to the G string. So I have to kind of rock my elbow in front, just like I always do to play on the G string. And if I just tickle with my pinky, you can hear that note has a really ringing sound. I am not pressing my finger down. You can see from this point of view that my, my pinky is just lying gently like a feather on top of the string. If I press the string down, that stops that vibration that's happening behind the finger and that affects the sound of my harmonic. Now let me change angles with my camera and show you what that looks like from another angle. Okay, so now let's switch to the A string for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make my beautiful left hand shape, the candy cane or the waterfall, whatever you call it. We're just gonna slide that hand up until it runs into the shoulder of the violin. Now notice I'm not reaching. I'm not doing anything different with the shape of my hand. This shape is the same all the way through. I'm gonna slide up, and on the A string, I'm just going to just reach across with my pinky so that my pinky is lying really flat on the string. I'm not using my fingertip. I'm tickling the string with the pad of my finger. And when I get there, it sounds like that. And if I release, my finger and my bow at the same time, they really, those, those actions really help the note to ring. So that is what a harmonic sounds like on the A string, and there's also one on your E string, and there's also one on your D and your G. Now, if you're having a hard time finding that harmonic, something you can do is find the tickle, and maybe if you're not quite on target, it'll sound like this, like that awful sound, right? So just keep your bow moving, keep that tickle, really light touch with no other fingers touching, and just slightly move your finger until you hear it lock in, and it'll sound like this. Oh, that's better. And let's try it going too high. Oh, that's awful. If I just slide back a little bit, ah, it locks into place. If you are slightly out, I mean like millimeters out, it will not sing for you. So if you remember that trick, notice the shape of my wrist. It's the sh same shape that my hand is in in first position. So remembering that trick that if I just slide my hand up and run into the body of the violin and then tickle with my pinky, avoid the use of the fingertip because your impulse will be to press that string down. 
That's what you've been taught to do. So instead we use that fleshy pad of our finger and we just tickle and that is how you find harmonics. You can throw those into all kinds of great pieces of music including Twinkle.